Are you done for the meet? I am done for the meet. Individually, I have a team relay tomorrow night. Well, th how did you feel about your meet as a whole then? Yeah, it's been a while since I think I've had 100% best times, so I'm really, really pleased that I was able to put it all together. You've been waiting for a moment like this one for a while. I mean, just what did that mean? I know your time was a little better this morning, but second fastest performer in the world this year, and then almost duplicating that time tonight. Just, I mean, what did that mean to you personally? Um, you know, the last couple of months, I've just been really trying to play, work with my mental game. Um, you know, at this level, everyone everyone does the work in the pool. They make the physical investments, and I think it's just really about refining and, you know, getting myself prepared mentally to perform at the right time. And uh, I'm super, super pleased to be overall. For sure. And just, does it validate part of your, I mean, you had a big change this year too. I mean, does, it, does this performance kind of validate that you made the right decision with everything? Absolutely. And, you know, the work that I did at Florida, it, it doesn't go away either, you know. So that's, I, I'm still extremely grateful for the base I had there um, because the work, it doesn't go away. And so as I'm continuously grateful for, you know, the investment, the coaches and my teammates at Florida made in me, um, I'm extra eager and excited that I have the opportunity at Texas to you know, make new relationships and invest in others as they invest in me and it, it just shows that everything we do in the pool, hard work pays off and um, I'm truly happy with it. What really, I mean what extra came out came out of you today specifically? Um, you know I, I've, been, uh, I've been listening to a lot of music behind the blocks just trying to calm my nerves down, keep the stress low and I think just when I'm behind the blocks, um, mentally, it's, 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 it's go time. And you know, I've been joking to a couple of my buddies um, about the movie Get Hard, and just like, I gotta get my Mad Dog face on or mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, it's just when I'm behind the blocks, um, it, it's time to execute and uh, just stay focused on my lane and what, what I need to do to, to be fast. Hey, the list of when did you know you wasn't gonna be here? And disappointing that he wasn't since he had such a great time. Um, I, honestly, I haven't been looking at each heats, so uh, I've been asking my coach and checking, like, okay, if I see my heat in lane, I, I just don't want to overthink it too much, you know? I think there's a lot of danger in comparing to another person, um, because that takes away um, the focus on yourself and puts it on someone else, you know? And, um, you know, as a competitor, as a racer, uh, that's something that's, that's in, it's important to keep in mind. Um, come racing in the pool because you know the moment you take your focus away and you look at someone else's lane uh, is the moment you're, you're not going to execute in your lane so what's good music to be relaxed you listening to uh, I just I, I try not to listen to too too much like upbeat stuff um, I usually just listen to a lot of things that keep me at, at peace and uh, just some worship music and um, things that don't ri raise my heart rate because I want to stay as relaxed as I can <laughs> How long, do you have a lot of family coming, or does it feel like you're just a homie? Absolutely, I mean, California is my home, and uh, it was so cool. The like, first two days, um, my middle brother, he came, and then my other brother came today, um, my mom and dad, my grandma, my cousins, and uh, some of my best childhood friends, they've been here, and it, it's really cool as I, as I walk out, and I see them, and I'm able to wave, and it just feels like it's a, it's a really like home vibe, and um, I know that's where I'm most relaxed, and I, uh, I know that regardless of how I swim, uh, they're going to be there after, and they're going to love me, and um, you know after this, I'm, I'm going to dinner with them, and uh, it's, it's going to be time to celebrate. So, so are you, did you go up in Livermore, or was it what, yeah. did you, you, all the way to Pleasanton? Yeah, so I grew up in Livermore. Um, at the time, the like nearest club team was the Pleasanton Seahawks. Um, and that's actually what my, my summer league coach recommended for me. So I, I, I went there, and I've been representing them since I was eight years old. And um, just the best progression I think um, any child could have. Um, you know, going from uh, just like intermediate groups to senior to senior league and you know my longtime club coach Steve Morsilli, he, he's my coach for life and uh, you know in and out of the pool he's just mentored me through a lot of things and I think having that type of special bond is it, it's, it's awesome and uh, it, it fuels some of my best performances too. When you talk about being relaxed how much do you write? I know we talked before about you know your short stories and some of the other writing that you do. Do you 
do you do that in when you're preparing for a meet? Is that something that also relaxes you? Yeah, you know, um, the last three to four weeks, that's a, uh, you know, with taper, you get a lot of time on your hands. Right. So I, I, I just have my notebook, and on Sunday I, I set aside time for me just to really get all my thoughts and my my writing out. And I, I think I actually recommend it to a teammate of mine, and we both take it on, and we. We, it's not necessarily that we keep each other accountable to it, but it's just like, hey, if there's anything on your heart, you know, um, I'm here for you and you're here for me. And um, I, I think it, it's really cool just to have that outlet because there's some power in really aggressively or just peacefully writing things out. And um, I love it. So is it more journal stuff or do you, or you, I'm sorry? Is it more journal kind of writing or is it, you know, short stories and things like that? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, you know, for my, I actually completed my, the first chapter of, um, like, I, I'm, I have a book idea in mind, completed the first chapter of it. Um, so whenever the inspiration comes for that, I try to write right away because, you know, uh, definitely as like a creative and artist, you want to take advantage of that inspiration when it comes. And, um, you know, if, if anything that comes to mind that brings me stress, I just I try to get it on paper. So it's out of my mind, out of my heart, and on the paper. So what are you studying in Texas? I'm studying English. Do you have creative writing classes? Um, I, well, so this summer I, I took a lot of prerequisites, um, just because uh, I needed to get them um, in order to be a legend for this fall. Uh, I'll, I'll talk with my academic advisor, but we need, uh, I, I hope I can get creative writing classes, but the classes that I've had so far, um, they've given me a lot of uh, liberty in writing like what I would like to, so I think that's, you know, fostered a bit of creative writing process, but um, I, I hope. I hope I can get some mm -hmm. creative writing classes. So. Do you write long words or do you type? Both. Yeah. Do you want to write our stories? <laughs> Maybe in the future. Yeah. <laughs>